Um, what we're going to cover today is using the WordPress create block package to generate a plugin and a dy dynamic block. Um, we're going to show how to interact and use the block.json, which is uh, registers the metadata for any block um, within WordPress. And then we're going to show how to integrate uh, ACF Pro blocks into um, WordPress blocks. And we'll also register ACF Pro fields. We're going to be using the repeater field today, which is a pro uh, field to build out an accordion. Uh, things, just some things we're not going to cover today. Um, we're not going to go over how to install WordPress, or hopefully you're already familiar with ACF, ACF Pro, um, how to install Node, how to how to use the command line, um, and when and why you might use an accordion. Um, there are some accessibility considerations, and the um, component the third party package we're actually using for the accordion state. It actually accounts for a lot of the accessibility considerations, but um, it's always a crucial decision to decide when and if you really need an accordion interface. Um, an overview of what we're gonna be starting from today. Um, I'll jump into this in a second, but we're just gonna have a basic WordPress install. I'm running 6.1 uh, ACF Pro. Um, this was originally built with 6.0.5, and I know 6.0.6 .6 came out yesterday, so it still works with that as well. Uh, and Node 14 and NPM 16, and I only say that because the create block um, package requires uh, this, this as a baseline for the install. And I'm using the Frost uh, WP Engine's Frost theme to uh, for the theme for the site, but you, you know you can use any theme for the end accordion output. Um, and here is I have a site with um, WP Engine's uh, local app. I have a, a local WordPress instance set up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open that up, and this is the front end with the Frost theme um, activated. I'm just going to go ahead and log in here. Stay frosty. Um, here's the Frost theme activated. Uh, Advanced Custom Fields Pro is activated, and really that's about it. It's a pretty bare bones installation. Um, so where we're gonna start right first is we're gonna just kind of walk through ACF's UI interface and register the fields that we're gonna need for our accordion block. Um, so first, let me just rearrange. We're gonna, let's see, we'll create an ACF field group. We're gonna call this, we're gonna call the, uh, the overall thing accordion uh, lock. And I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit here. So I think that's a little easier to read probably. Um, we want this to be a repeater field. So, and we're gonna call this um, the parent item, the parent re repeater field accordion uh, item. And as far as subfields, we can nest these fields within our repeating um, accordion item. We're going to add a text field. We'll call this accordion heading. Uh, we'll give it a default value. Uh, this is kind of to your discretion. Um, you can say your title goes here. Um, and that's probably it for that heading. And then we're going to add one other field. Um, this will be a WYSIWYG editor. And this will be where the accordion content will reside. And actually, 
now that I'm saying that, I'm realizing it might be helpful to see an end, kind of an end product of what we're going for here. Um, this is uh, what we're going for. The This would be the accordion heading, and this is the accordion content. Um, and these sections expand and collapse. So I'm actually going to switch screens here real quick so you can see a little bit better. There we go. So back to our fields. Uh, we're going to create a WYSIWYG editor. We're going to call this accordion content. And we will just modify some of the presentation because when editors come in here, we just want to give them a streamlined experience. So we don't need all these, um, the WYSIWYG editor to have too many features. We can turn off the media uploads. Um, and I think that's, yeah, that's it. And we'll collapse that. So we have just an overview. We have the accordion block, which is the group. Uh, we have an accordion item, which is the repeater field. Um, and then nested subfields are accordion heading and accordion content. Um, we're going to set the layout too for for this as a blo as block, um, which is just really the display of the fields within the admin interface. And oh, one other thing is we're going to change the presentation here because by default, it'll say add a new row for editors, but we want to say add an accordion item. And that should be it. We'll save that. I'll keep going here. All right, so we have our fields registered. So now um, we are going to scaffold out a plugin with a block um, for our WordPress installation. And so I'm actually going to go over to local and we are going to say go to site folder for this instance. And we're going to actually drill down into the WP content directory. And we're going to go to plugins. And I'm going to open this up in uh, Visual Studio Code. So this is just the plugins directory. And right now we just have advanced uh, custom fields pro installed. I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal and the VS code and we'll make this a little bigger here. And this is kind of where create block, the WordPress create block package comes into play. Uh, this helps us not only scaffold out a WordPress block, but also a WordPress plugin. Um, so if we do npx uh, WordPress create block, um, and then the next thing is you can pass a series of flags along to the create block. And I've actually created a unique template that kind of expedites a lot of the, some of the extra steps that take assimilating a WordPress block into an ACF Pro block. Um, so I have, I'm going to pass in a template here and it's colorful tones. Uh, yeah, create block template. Um, so that's referencing another package on NPM which you know cre uh, create block allows you to pass in templates, which yeah, you can pass a certain series and skip some some steps and make the workflow a little um, customized to what you're trying to do. So um, and then I'm going to pass in a variant because we want our block there typically are with WordPress, you can have a static block or a dynamic block, and we want a dynamic block. So we're going to pass in dynamic. Um, and then we can pass in the title. I'm going to call it ACF accordion block. Um, a namespace. And I'm going to say WPE for WP engine. Um, and then a category of ACF blocks. And then 
I'm just going to add one other command at the end here. So once all that's done running, I want to drill into the new directory of this plugin. So I'm going to say CD, uh, we're calling it ACF, accordion block. So we'll run that. Um, so that is currently pulling down the create block package, then also referencing another package of my Colorful Tones ACF create block template. Um, Spinning that all up, creating, as we can see, we already have over here on the side, uh, accordion plugin directories being built out. Um, so we'll just give that a second and that should finish uh, doing its thing. And just peeking over for any questions, nothing there. Okay, compiling the block. So this created a plugin with a block nested inside. So now it's finalized and we have our accordion uh, plugin. And then um, within this blocks directory, we have our single block. Um, and then when we run NPM, our block is built into the build directory. And this is our accordion as our main uh, plugin file. So if we look over here, the create block package tells us, gives us a, little, a few um, helpful hints once we install and run it. So we can run NPM start here and this is just gonna oh let's see oh it, it didn't drill into the directory like I told us so we got to go cd accordion there we go and now uh we can run uh mdm start so that is just running that's running wordpress uh, wp scripts in the background and watching our since we're in we're in development mode um and we'll be modifying things as we go We'll have that just keep running in the background. So that's just watching our blocks directory and building things into the build directory. So, and actually while I'm in here, I'm gonna skip us a step ahead. We'll cancel out of this, sorry, I'm, not, I'm back in the terminal here. I'm going to go ahead and install um, on one dependency, which is gonna be a handle all our accordion state, like the JavaScript of expanding and collapsing. And this is a third party package. So this is, I'm gonna run npm install, save, and it's 10 up component accordion. Hey Damon, real quick question. Yeah. Uh, someone is asking a question in the chat, if you can see it about creating it into the theme folder and not as a plugin. Yep, absolutely. Um, I am, I'm not covering that approach today, but a lot of this, yes, a lot of this is applicable to storing it in the theme as well. Um, so you could probably bring this accordion directory over into your theme and um, uh, probably some of the some of the steps I'll be doing in this main plugin uh, file, you would might want to abstract a little bit and so that it's, it functions with the theme directories. But um, yes, you can do it that way. All right, so now we have that third party component set up. We'll get back to that later when we start, when we are putting on the finishing touches essentially for the block. But I'm going to go ahead and run npm start again. So that's running in the background and collapse this. So we're going to hop into the main plugin file. And I just want to change a few things here. We're going to call this accordion uh, block. Block, yeah. And let's see. By default, um, since we referenced my custom template, um, it actually pulls in kind of like an exam. I just have an ECF example field that's registered by default. Um, it's just kind of a placeholder to give you an idea of how out of the box it might uh, look and operate. Um, and then we also have a custom block category, which I'll show you in a second, but I'm going to go ahead and update the uh, slug here. Let's see, I think it's ACF blocks. And we're going to change this to the title for the category to ACF blocks. Okay, I'm going to save that. 
And then one other modification, since our block exists in the blocks directory, <clears throat> we're going to open up the block.json. This contains the, the metadata to that WordPress references when you register a block. Um, so here we have, you know, key things like the title, the category, um, and this is kind of where ACF um, ties into register its functionality within a block, um, which I'll, I'll circle back to, but I'm gonna change the title here to accordion. And I'm gonna add just a, an icon for our block um, because the default one is just not ideal. We'll add that, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I'm going to add a description so our editors will kind of know what this block does if they add it. Um, and that should be good for now. I'm saving the block.json. And let's go now to our site and see where we're at. Yeah, so we want to activate our plugin. Otherwise, none of this code is going to work. Accordion block activate. Yes, there we go. That's why it's not showing up. So if we could hop back over here, we can see here's our ACF blocks custom category with our accordion block showing up. So we can add that, but right now we haven't done much to, we just, again, have this example field being output. Um, and it, you can actually see down here, uh, the accordion block, the custom fields that we registered earlier are showing up in as meta fields down here but we want to actually assign them so they show up in, within this block. Um, so that's actually what we'll work on next. And I'm just going to back up and remove this for now. And we'll save this, save this draft. But I just wanted to show you the current status of where we're at. Okay, so one way, we can go back to our accordion block field group here. And if we go down here, we can assign these fields to the actual block now that we have it registered. So we can select uh, block is equal to, and here's our accordion since it we have it registered, it's showing up. We can save those changes. And hop back over here, see where we're at, add our accordion, go into edit. And see, now we have the exam, the original example field, and we have our fields showing up. So we can add an accordion item. I'll go ahead and just, while I'm here, add in some stuff. Just add in some more milksome. Okay. Uh, we'll say publish, but. There's no, we haven't really hooked any of the output up yet, but I'll open that up just so you can see uh, what it's outputting. It's just outputting the heading right now because we haven't, yeah, we haven't hooked up any of the markup. So we, what we're going to do actually is export the field group and then just incorporate it within our plugin just to keep things organized, essentially. I mean, if you if you are finished with your field group, then yeah, it's always ideal to package it up into the directory with a plugin. So we can go into ACF uh, tools and we'll select our accordion block and we're going to export a JSON. Um, and then we can take this exported file. I'm going to take that and copy it and, and I'm just going to put it right in the root of our plugin and I'm actually going to rename it uh well yeah we'll leave it like that so this contains our exported field group with all the fields that we need um I'm just going to make one more modification since we don't want this in array see I just I'm moving these initial brackets here um and the we'll closing one at the bottom. And I'll just indent this. All right, and save that. So that's in the root of our plugin. Now we need to tell our plugin to reference those fields. So if we go back into our plugin, um, and there's two things we need to he do here. 
uh, we have this is the default WordPress um, hook to well, I mean the init, we're calling on the init hook um, action to register our block. And that's fine and dandy. We're just going to point directly to the um, block.json in the build directory. So I'm going to take, let's see. Take this. And we're just going to change the reference to point directly to the final built block.json. So it's in build block.json here. So that's pulling in the metadata and registering the block. And then we're going to take this uh, function, which had the kind of the placeholder example field. Again, you can see example field ACF. So we can take this and we'll remove all of this within. And see, we're, as you can see, we're referencing one of ACF's um, hook, uh, actions to register the fields from PHP. So we're going to replace that with um, a reference to the JSON file that we just added with our fields in it. So here we are pointing to our newly added JSON file, ACF export 1214, um, decodes the JSON, and then we're also telling it to assign it to our block, like we did just a moment, like a few minutes ago in the ACF um, user interface. We're just telling it programmatically to do this. Um, so we save that and hop back over and go to our field groups here. Oh, I must have missed something. Constant file. ACF export, did I rename that incorrectly as well? No. Oh. Huh. <laughs> I swear I tested this all out earlier. Um, is it this register build block.json? Yep, that's there. Hmm. Oh, unassumed file constant. Well, I wonder, we can trash our original field group since we're not using that. Uh, live coding demos, yep. That is odd. ACF export. Steve. Error moving. Oh, that's okay. All right. So let's go back to our field group. We trash, we put the original field group in the trash now. So it does not exist as far as ACF, but since we registered it, here, uh, we're pointing to our JSON, and it should still exist. So if we go back to our post here, go into edit, voila. So now it's actually pulling in these fields directly from within the plugin, which is nice. And we can add another item here. Uh, let's say another item, and then just drop it some more ipsum. Oh, no caps lock on. Wow, I cannot type today. Let's see, paragraph one. All right, and we'll update that, save that. So we can check our output on the front end. Again, we have no changes in the markup, so we haven't really changed any, any of our rendering functionality. So it's just going to output what was there before. Um, all righty. So we have our fields registered. Originally, we registered through the UI, and now they're registered directly within the plugin. Uh, we have our plugin set up, so the user can edit and modify data. Um, so now, Let's hook up the rendering output and styling and uh, accordion functionality that we need.
So we'll hop back over here into VS Code. And let's see, I'm gonna close out some of this stuff just to kind of keep it clean. Um, I think the first thing we're gonna wanna do is in our block.json, we're pointing ACF to the template of render.php, which is right here within the block as well. This is where our uh, markup is basically all the, the functionality for the output is existing. And that's why we're only seeing like this ACF on the, the front end right now. I am just for sanity, I'm going to rename this to accordion.php, which then means we have to rename this. Oops, cannot delete. All right. So I just like to keep things named similarly in case we have multiple blocks at some point. Um, so here's the original kind of example markup that we output through our template. Um, I'm actually just gonna grab the markup here and I can step through it. So we replace this. Um, so we're getting um some wrapper attributes we're adding well we're adding a class here we're passing it through and then really it's just a lot of if you work with advanced custom fields a lot of it is just um uh, you know simple php logic and pulling in the the field data checking if it exists and looping through with a for each and we're outputting a button and then a directly followed by just a div with a query and content so the button exists or the, the button represents the toggling functionality. And then this is the output content. So it's just looping through that and outputting it. So we can save that. And then for some styling, again, I am going to rename to accordion. So we're gonna take this and say accordion. And this is in the original block.json, which is referencing the final built uh, CSS style sheet. And whoops, I'm going to rename that. So really, this isn't all necessary. I just like to keep things named consistently. <laughs> um, I'll bring over some styling that I already have for the accordion. Um, we're using some variables here to allow, should um, somebody perhaps in the theme want to override some of the key coloring, um, we're allowing for some bars that are uh, referenced here. Um, so I can save that and let's check things and make sure um the styles that's scs okay so all oh, right when we get okay yep and i'll come back to that but um so that we have our styles in accordion dot scss this is going to give it all the the nice accordion appearance and the last step we want to do is I'm actually going to take this index.js that was given to us and I'm going to rename it again to accordion.js. And this is where we're going to pull in our styles. That's why uh, we we're getting our, originally the error there. But I'm going to replace this with the reference to our 10 up uh, accordion component. We're going to import that and then initialize it. So let me just grab. Okay. So we're pulling in the accordion.scss here. Uh, we're pulling in, we're importing the 10 up component, and then we're um, declaring, we're tying it all to the, the window object and just initializing here uh, within, well, one of these, let's see, um, one of these that helps register it within the editor, 
and one of them helps register on the front end as well for because we have to work uh, we're working with the acf um, javascript apis here so i can save that um, and then one other thing we want to modify some of these um just the script like we're going to actually take these out these keys and we're going to put a script and this will pull in the the file that we just modified the accordion.js so we can say file all right make sure there's no issues in the console um and then if we hop back over here everything and i can step i'm going to step go back and step through some of the uh a markup because I know I kind of went fast there. Um, but again, we can go in and edit. We can say add another item. And okay, there's another item. Update that, hop over here. And voila, we have our accordion hooked up. And one, there are a few improvements you could, you know, this is kind of pretty bare bones. Um, typically, like an accessibility consideration is to have a heading nested within so when you're toggling these buttons it has a um aria uh i can't remember if it's description or but um you might want to visually hide this off the screen because it kind of seems repetitive to have the toggling uh heading here and have it repeat repeated um so you could use some css to hide that um, for screen but still display it for screen readers since i'm not seeing any other questions i can touch on maybe some other areas that you might consider exploring to make this maybe more custom and better and advanced. <laughs> Bells and whistles, if you will. Um, one thing we could pull in is block supports. So we could, I think I have this in the original, let's see, yeah. So this is the final, kind of the final code up on GitHub, which we'll link to in the post when we post this video. Um, and Sam might have already provided it in the chat there. But so with this one, I went a little further here. And if you see, let's see, we'll drill into the block, uh, block.json. And we're saying here, support. So we want to support a custom color and a custom background. So we can actually bring that over and apply that. So we'll open up our block.json and just drop it in anywhere. Okay, and then if we go back and let's go edit our block. Oh, let's save here. Let's get out of here for a second and make sure. So now while we're editing, if we open up over here, we can say, um, well, actually this, it won't really necessarily, I don't think affect the UI here, but we can say, yeah, we can set a custom color and we can say update and this should affect, yeah, some of the, so we set a custom text color of purple and that shows up on the front end. Um, and there's a bunch of other uh, options. You could do alignment options. Um, again, here is a reference to a lot of the block supports that are available on uh, developer.wordpress.org. Um, actually, no, that's sorry, that's the wrong link. It's right here. So you can say alignment, uh, align wide, ARIA, class name, colors, um, a lot of the stuff, color background, um, trying to think of some of the other, you know, you could do fonts and gradients. And um, of course you have to modify, you would modify a lot of your CSS and uh, and possibly some of the markup to make sure the attributes are applied properly. Um, 
but those are just kind of some other areas that you could explore with this block. All of the, most of this, uh, what I walked through today is available in this post on the WP engine forward slash builders. Um, so I can drop this in the chat. Oh, yep. Sam beat me to it. <laughs> Um, but then I guess this is probably helpful is the, the GitHub repo, which has the final uh, code base. And you can also just download the plugin over here on the right. Um, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but yeah, right over here. Um, 